it's definitely one of those kind of days, for sure. I am trying to be productive, making YouTube videos, do the work that I should be doing today, but I am just not being productive. And that is because my mind is elsewhere. My mind is not on the job. I just can't concentrate today. I couldn't concentrate yesterday. Yesterday was the 4th of July, 2022 for anybody that, for the future. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I'm just sitting around throwing paper into the bin, eating yesterday's stale old croissants, drinking coffee instead of working. And part of that, I know pretty much exactly what the problem is. I've got a lot of turmoil in my life at the moment. Um, I'm not going to talk about it right now. It all is just too difficult to talk about. I will talk about it in the future, hopefully. But right this very second in time, I'm still processing. I'm still going on this journey. Um, but ultimately, I made a really, really big mistake. I made a massive, monumental mistake. It's the biggest mistake. It's the biggest regret of my life to date. And I'm 35. So I haven't done too badly to get this far and only have one major regret. Um, but it's really, really having a sustained and prolonged impact on everything. And I think what caused a lot of that heartache and upset that I caused was my own mental health. And so really what I've come to say, I suppose, is that one thing that I've learned from this mistake, my mistake, is that it's really, really important to communicate to your friends, to your partners, to people around you, how you are feeling. And I was terrible, absolutely terrible at communicating how I felt to uh, specifically my partner. Um, and she took the full brunt of my stupidity. And, you know, I'm massively sorry to her, and I've told her that I'm sorry, and I've learned a lot from it. So I've grown a lot, you know, it's been a personal journey, um, but, you know, I can wholeheartedly hold my hand on my heart and say that if I could go back in time now and just tell myself not to go on that journey, I would be there right now, I would leave, thanks very much. Um, but as I can't do that, as that's not possible all you can do is learn from your mistakes all you can do is learn your relationships as you get older that it's not going the way you wanted it to it's not feeling right or whatever rather than just going on the self-destruct which is exactly what i did maybe you should just try and have that conversation with the person and try and you know reconcile. I mean, I know for a fact that back then, it wasn't all that many years ago, that I couldn't have approached this situation without causing an argument. That would probably be nine times out of ten down to me. Because I wouldn't have approached it in a way that would have been smart enough that it wouldn't have seemed either passive aggressive or just aggressive. And there's just a lot of things to undo in, you know, and, and, and you know, I'm a massive believer in you've just got to learn from your mistakes. If you make a mistake, you've got to own the mistake and learn from it because otherwise then it truly is a big mistake. Um, and you can't help yourself going forward if you don't acknowledge, absorb, digest, and try and rectify that situation. So, yeah. That's one to think about for sure. I'm gonna try and be productive. Just thought I would get that one off my chest. Okay, so today wasn't the most productive day, although we did get something done. And I think that's the secret to being successful or, or just getting stuff done is that if you just get one thing done, like I made one video today, I edited one entire video, you know, even on my worst day, if I can get one thing done, that is still a step forward, rather than just saying, okay, today we're not feeling directed right off, like yesterday, not, not, not a good day. Yesterday we got nothing done. That is a very, very rare thing indeed. I was very emotional yesterday. Just wasn't feeling, just, it was nothing. It didn't have it in me yesterday. But even today on a bad day, we got one thing done. 
I'm going to go home and do one other thing. That'll be two things. I only ever try and get three things done in a day. That is my golden rule. Like, if I get three things done, I absolutely have won that day. But even if you only get two things done, you're still absolutely winning. So anyway, let's try and do that today. And if we don't manage it, we're not going to beat ourselves up over it because there's been loads of days where we've got loads more stuff done than that. So, you know, that's how you've got to play these things. Celebrating those small wins is really important. And just writing the day off as I didn't get anything done, so therefore you feel depressed about it all, isn't very helpful. You've just got to keep plugging, you know? Life's about just making one step forward. 1% better. 1% better every single day. 365% better over the entire year. That is what progress looks like.